In this video, we'll use the Text Explode tool and the Extrude tool to create 3D text to incorporate into our model. Now to get started, I want to change the active layer. I'll switch to 3D text, and I'm going to go into a top view and focus on this area right in front of our model. Now we'll use the text tool to start. And I'm going to type house 17. And let's see, I'll change this to century gothic. Uh, our text is really small, so let's scale it up. I'm going to use the grip commands. I'm going to toggle through with my space bar until we get to scale factor. And I'm going to scale it up to about the size I'm looking for. That looks good. Now we need to use the text explode tool. Click on our text, type txt. EXP, enter, and you can see that our text has now been converted to 2D polylines. Now let's switch into the realistic visual style just for a bit because I want to show you something. Right now we're looking at 2D polylines and they don't have any fill. I'm going to use the region command, REG, enter, select our objects, hit enter, and you can see that now these shapes have fill. Regions are 2D shapes, but because they have fill, they can actually be used with the Boolean tools, just like 3D solids. You can see that right now this O is actually in two different parts. So we can use the union command, enter, select our objects, and not only are our letters now uh, complete, but they're also uh, Boolean together all as one. Let's see, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a three quarter view here using the orbit command. And I'll extrude our text to uh, about a foot. Now, if you remember back to the beginning of our project, when we were thinking about planning and thinking about scale, and we talked about sort of minimum feature size for something to be readable and printable on a 3D printer, and we sort of talked about how two inches in our full scale model was going to correlate um, pretty well to what you know felt like a good minimum. So let's just double check these letters to make sure that they meet that threshold. Type DI, enter, use the distance tool, click on those points. And these are actually two and a quarter inches. So they are gonna be right at that threshold. I can be pretty confident that these letters are going to print well and be readable in our model. All right, so the last thing we need to do is position this. So let's move to a left view. We'll grab our solid here, use the move tool to position this in our model. I'll switch back to the top view. and Make one more adjustment. And as a last step, you can see when we did the extrude, they broke out into individual solids. Let's do it with one more union so we can treat this object as one. Adding text to a project is just one way to add some customization and some personality. And now that we're done adding the text, we're going to move on to the next step.